Hi, welcome. It's Marissa M. Kissa, and you're joining me for another Floss 2 video. Today is Wednesday, July 8th, and this is Floss Tube number six for me. Um, that was my high energy cheerleader voice. I'm trying a new thing. I'm trying a floss tube standing up. So we're gonna see how that goes. My string of pearls is attacking my hair. I'm kind of wedged like between my bed and the wall. So I don't have a lot of space, but um, yeah. So if it, if it starts being drapey, then it will start being drapey, but that's what's happening. And it might look like I'm wearing a houseplant hat. So, I've been missing for a month. It's been kind of a zany month. A lot has been going on. Um, pretty heavy stuff has been going on. I am not really going to dwell on that too much, but um, on this channel, Black Lives Matter, I don't care who you love, and keep on keeping on, guys. Um, wear your mask. That is what happens on this channel. So other than that, um, we're doing pretty well in this house. Um, I am really the only one that leaves. Um, and I'm working full time and all is well. My kids are happy. They like each other most of the time. And we're very lucky that they are 21 months apart and can have fun with each other while needing a lot of extra poking and prodding from their parents, but they have managed um, to have a pretty good time. Um, I live here in Maine, just south of Portland. It is muggy and humid and sticky today. Um, and we're supposed to start a little thunderstorm pretty soon here. So we'll see if that happens. Since I completely missed all of June, I wanted to catch you up on how I finished out um, stitch mania or sania for me. Um, primarily I was working on two projects mostly which were Consider the Lilies and um, Bienvenue which is a birth sampler for my youngest daughter who just turned three. Still not done yet but I got a lot done. Um, in addition to that, if I ever finished my like daily or weekend or weekday goal for whichever project was assigned, then I got to work on another project and that was my Ocean ABCs. So I'm going to show you those three patterns where I ended kind of um, May with them. And then I haven't really picked them up because you, as you'll see, I have a lot going on. Um, so here is Bienvenue. It is a long dog chart. It is charted in a single color, but of course I was not having that. So here's where we're at with that one. And I'm pretty close to being done. I have like one major motif right here that I still need to do and then her name everybody's initials that are going on there but I made really good progress I'm really happy about that even if I don't pick it up till next May which is her birth month um, I will definitely finish it next year and I won't be too sad about that my other project that I put a lot of time into was um, consider the lilies from heartstring samplery and this is being stitched on a 38 count piece of mystery linen from the Goodwill near Helen D's house. And here's where I ended May. Kind of close up of that corner. I mean, I have a good chunk done. Um, it still goes up quite a bit further here, I think. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I am anxious to pick this back up, and I think that I will probably sooner rather than later. Um, but it, it's kind of hitting the spot. 
it hits the spot on like a feel good piece to stitch on. I hope you can't see how like sticky I am. Um, okay, so here is, that's that pattern. Consider the Lilies by Heartstring Samplery. It's gorgeous, it's giant, it makes me really happy. Okay, so what did I say? Ocean ABCs by Design Works was what I, the other project that I picked up. And it lives in here in my Beach Please bag. That's a Target, um, like, dollar section find. And this is on 14 count Kit Ada, which is a little bit on the rough side, but it's beautiful. Let's get closer here. So I finished this block right here and this block right here. So making some progress. Um, not sure when it's coming back out again. And then, oh, I filled in all of the sand on this block right here. So not sure when that will make a uh, reappearance, but it was nice to get some of it done. The girls have requested it for their bathroom. So I want to get it done before they say they don't want it anymore. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of be neat as I go. Okay. So that's what I worked on. That's what I finished for Stitch Mania. Sania. It was kind of along what um, Lindy Stitches did for it. She did like focus pieces and then you got to do a new start. I didn't do any new starts. I just really wanted to work on my focus pieces. After Stitch Mania, I've started a lot of things. I don't think that's really how that's supposed to work, <laughs> but it's fine. But I have two FFOs. One of them is an FO, a new FO, and one of them was an FO a while ago and I finally got it in its frame. So we'll start with that one. This is Barbie Petal Pushers um, Tiki Room pattern. I believe it's still available on our Etsy, which I will definitely link below. And I don't know what fabric this is anymore because the bag is long gone, but it's like pink on the bottom and the top and then purple. I actually have a remnant from it from what I had to cut off and I think I'm gonna use it for Lindy Stitches mystery stitch along that she's doing right now but I haven't started it yet because there have been other starts and things it's um I love it it's cute it's bright it's fun um I bought this frame on Amazon and if I can find it again I will link it below but it's like fake bamboo it's not real bamboo fake burned bamboo <sighs> okay let's see okay the other one is an fo and an ffo so I finished Lizzie Kate uh, Yankee Doodle Pop, and then I just finished it on a piece of sticky board. It's actually, so I found a couple packages of photo matting board at Goodwill. I got them for like 50 cents each. So I'm still working through those. So that's what this is. It's because I'm just using it because it was from Goodwill. So anyways, I finished this, stuck it on. I used tacky glue because I didn't want to deal with like glue gun strings. And then this is from Michael's from this year. Um, it looked like this on the front and it had like a metal star on it that said like, bless this house. So I just flipped it around and it fit like perfectly. Like I think the project's maybe like one millimeter taller than the um, this firecracker. But so super cute. I love this finish. It makes me really happy. I saw this in the, in the store and I was like, oh, that's like the thing. I didn't realize it was like exactly like the thing. The, exactly like the stitch. Like red and white stripes, blue stars. I mean, this side's different, but like, holy cow, those are the same. Same, 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 same. Same. That's my littlest one. That's like her favorite thing to point out is when stuff is the same. She's like, same, 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 same. So like that is same. Um... Okay, so those are my finishes. Not a ton, not anything really super duper big or fancy I'm working on it. Um, but new starts. 
So I started um, Teresa Kogut's One Nation, which I'm not going to take it out of the hoop. I only have her little crown done. But this pattern is so adorable. I just, I had, had to, had to, had to um, start it. So this is just on a scrap piece that I got in like a grab bag. Um, I'm doing kind of the called for colors and kind of not. I do need to re-go through them and I think I need to buy the two skin tones because I don't have either of them. So I'm trying to accumulate a full set of DMC. So adding two more to make this pattern the way that she designed it, I am all good with that. So that will happen. I also started on the 4th of July. Oh no. One Nation by Bygone Stitches. And I sort of had a moment of struggle because I've had this for a while and I've wanted to start it. And with everything that's going on right now, there's this like weird mix of what the flag means. And I have been wanting to stitch this for a really long time. And it's been in my stash for a really long time. And to me, this represents all the really amazing things in our country and what our country can be and has the potential to be and the way it was designed so that we all do have a voice. And so it is important for us to use that. So this piece to me, it is patriotic because I am feeling patriotic with the way that I am contributing to the world right now. And I'm trying really hard to make sure that I'm doing really good things. So I'm making mistakes along the way um, and it's not easy. And there have been some sad nights, but um, we are moving along. So I am stitching this on a piece of that mystery 38 count linen from the Goodwill um, that I dyed, that I hit with some, um, that I hit with some tan writ. So, I mean, you can barely see my start right now. The lighting's not great, but, and I'm using, I don't have the, the white that I'm using is toasted marshmallow. And then the red and the blue are both from Victoria Motto Sampler. Her, um, she did like a Liberty kit. So, they're America the Beautiful, which the DMC conversion is 815 and 816. And then C to, signing, C to Shining C, which is DMC 312. And 815 is one of my favorite DMC colors. I actually really like to use it for Christmas as well. It's just very like kind of cranberry deliciousness. So that's my One Nation. And I am hoping to kind of do the sal method on that one where you stitch one star and one state every week. And that way, even if I have like a little lull, I still might be able to finish it by next 4th of July, which would be awesome. And then I started Hayd because I put Pattern Keeper on my Kindle and I was like, well, I need to use it. So I had this chart that was uh, gifted to me a long time ago from the Hade group. So it's a mini, it's a mini witching, mini which way. So charted by Hade and artwork by Molly Harrison. It is 241 by 325 and it's like 2% done. Oh, this is where I am with that. You can't really tell. It's mostly just here. Can I, can I make the camera focus on that? It's mostly just the sky. So, um, let's see. Here we go. So, it's mostly just sky. I think it's really, it's gorgeous, but it'll... Obviously it's going to take a little while, but Pattern Keeper is like magical and it definitely lets you stitch a lot faster. 
So, um, so I started that because I needed another bap, like I need another bap. Um, and then I also started a pattern that I created as a fundraiser. Um, so I need to finish it up. It needs the quote above it. It is, um, it's Ben Franklin and it's, um, justice will not be served until those who are affected are as outraged as those who are. So, and then I put the scales of justice on there. Um, so I did that as a fundraiser for the ACLU and they sent me a really cool sticker and it said, dissent is patriotic. And I was like, yes, it is ACLU. Yes, it is. So that made me really feel like I, I did, I gave it to the right place. So that sticker now lives on my stitching cart. Um, okay. I want to do a couple shout outs. So Cynthia Brew, um, thank you so much for the shout out. Uh, she does beautiful, beautiful, beautiful prim pieces. Um, and then I think she has a good chunk of like, um, patriotic and Christmas going. And then I think she's also, she's either started or is going to start Consider the Lilies. I'm a little bit behind on videos, but, um, her channel, she has a really calming voice and her projects are absolutely gorgeous. And she does show off some finishing too and some other crafts, which I love because who doesn't love more crafts? Okay, speaking of more crafts. So Tracy P is back making videos. And seriously, that woman is good at every single craft she tries. So right now in her video, she has a good chunk of knitting and, and she's doing cross stitch too. So that's sort of what you'll see there. She's um, been around for a while. She kind of did a new restart on her videos and, um, she's awesome. So go check her out. And then Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch made her first floss tube video and she's another Consider the Lily Stitcher. So, um, I just have been completely drawn to everyone that is stitching that project because it's just a gorgeous piece. Like, I think almost everybody is stitching it in called fours because it's just perfect. So hers is beautiful too. And then she's like me, she kind of jumps around on projects a lot. So, um, I was like, yes, that, oh yeah, that, 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 that. And that's kind of how I end up stitching projects too. So that was awesome. And she's awesome and go check her out. So I will link all three of those people down below. Um, and then... I will also link down below for a haul I have. I just got, um, they came in the mail today from the Top Stop Stitcher Shop. I feel like I need to like move out of the way and then will you focus on that? So I got the little doom buggy, the moons, and then also um, Enchanted Tiki Room. Come on. Do it, do it, do it. Nope. Right here. Go right here. Okay. There we go. So Disney and Witchy. And then, what else do I have for you? Whips. Whips, whips, whips. Other whips. So I stitched a little bit on the Mermaid of Salem Bay. Not a lot. I did pick it up for one of the nights that we stitched with our um, main ladies. Here's where I'm at. I did start her up um, a little bit lower than she is on the chart. I'm going to leave the words off of this so it'll just be the mermaid and the pirate ship but ugh, the pattern's gorgeous the flosses are gorgeous it's so much fun to stitch um it's a good one that's by the primitive hair and then my other whip is halloween black work so it's in 
the 2014 Halloween issue, and this is the cover. Everyone says, I don't know what the years are, but I know what the covers look like. So that's the cover. This is the pattern. And I'm stitching it on orange. Um, most sale, 16 count dyed Ada. And I don't remember what the name of this um, fabric was, but so I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Closed off a bunch of the the rings, especially the specialty stitches. So I have one more row of Algerian eyes. I have three more pumpkin, three more little pumpkins. Eight more big pumpkins and two cats. And then I will be done. This is probably going to get made into a pillow. But this has been a really good um, Zoom call stitching project. Um, just because it's one color and most of the patterns are repetitive. So I've already stitched them at least once. So I like really know what they are. What happened to all my piles? I put some piles on top of piles. Okay. So I said in my last video that I was going to do a giveaway for um, Hildy Strawberry Patch. So... I got out one of those handy dandy YouTube um, comment pickers right here and I just searched for straw because some people put strawberries and some people put strawberry and so I didn't want to search for a specific one. There are five people that entered and now I shall push the magic button and Donna, Kit Kat Stitches gets to stitch it. So I will get that to you and I will get in touch with you because I know who you are and we will get that out to you. And then I wanted to do another giveaway for this week for um, another thing that I finished. So here is Yankee Doodle. So I did um, pop, but there are two other, well, there's another wording for under the firecrackers and then there's a whole nother pattern on there. So if you would like to stitch this, say that you would like to stitch Yankee Doodle. Okay, so please be over 18 and be allowed to give me your address if you need to give me your address. And please be a subscriber. Um, if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, do the thing so that you get to know when I, um, when I say, when I post a new video. So this is the um, this is the giveaway for this week. I'd like to stitch Yankee Doodle, and then the the deadline will just be before I do my next video. So if you're watching this and there's not a, another video up, you can still comment on that one, um, and I will get that done as hopefully in a normal amount of time. My schedule's been kind of wonky with work, so um, and there's been a lot of responsibility at home. So this this gets put on the back burner, but I don't want this to get put on the back burner because it's fun and it makes me happy and I like talking to all of you and I like watching all of you. Um, so if you're making videos, keep making them. Um, I, I I keep coming back and it's just such a, a feel good thing that we all have. Um, okay, so can't forget my little main thing. So if you don't know, uh, coming up on two years now, uh, my family and I relocated from Southern California, Orange County, uh, right near Disneyland, to um, the Portland, Maine area. And <laughs> I've been just finding some little funny things that are different between California and Maine. Um, little eccentricities that I think are funny or things that like make me feel like I was so sheltered or I didn't know. Like I've learned so much since being here, just about a different way of living since... I just lived in the little bubble that was Orange County. So these are not things that are making fun of Maine. These are not things, sometimes it's making fun of myself because I just feel silly that I like didn't know it. Um, but just things that are different and that you might not have heard in expressions, um, that kind of stuff. So since it's summer in the middle of Maine, uh, everyone's been going to camp. 
where's camp? What camp do you go to? Oh, what, what do you mean? Oh, oh, camp is what everybody calls any other place that they go on a regular basis or that they have part ownership in. So camp can be your lake house, camp can be your beach house, camp can be the, your island house, although those people usually say we're going to the island. Um, but going up to camp is where everybody goes every weekend. So in California, a lot of people um, went to the river and that meant usually going to Havasu, which could mean the lake or Parker, Arizona. But here, everybody just goes to camp. And some people do camp. Some people um, have like a fifth wheel or tents and go like actual camping and say that they're going to camp. Um, but most people are just saying like, I'm going to my family's house somewhere else that's not here. So going to camp. <laughs> I was very confused when I first heard it, but I think it's kind of awesome. And everyone goes to camp. Um, it makes vacation feel youthful up here for sure. Um, it's very sticky in my house or in my room. I, mean, I told you already that we're in my bedroom. Um, I got some new plants too, so I'm really excited, but this is a golden pothos. It's doing pretty well. Um, I have a wandering Jew on the other side of our room that is like purple and beautiful. And then this is a string of pearls. If you are unfamiliar, um, there are lots of different string shapes. Um, and I am slowly accumulating some more. I actually have a string of dolphins in, um, my sewing room that is sitting in its like lovely sunspot to get bigger and healthier before it comes and moves into here, which is, they just need a little bit, they just need to be a little bit more mature because it's not as bright of a room. Um, but yeah, I love house plants. Kind of weird, but they make your life so much better. We also have a, a, a spider plant in our room. It's over there, so you can't see it either. I want more. I'm gonna bring all the plants in here. Anyways, I think that's all that I have to say about that. Um, my, oh, I guess maybe some plans moving forward. I don't, I'm working on a model stitch and I've been working on that Halloween one. I would really like to finish the Halloween one. Oh, I do have plans. So if I finish the Halloween, the Halloween one, the Halloween black work, finish or when, not if, I'm going to. That thing's not going away until it's done. When I finish Halloween black work, then I'm going to open up Pattern Keeper and start another haid. And because I'm really, really zany, I got Max Colors, Beachcombers Bounty, and that's by Amy Stewart, charted by Michelle at Heaven and Earth Designs. So, that will be a big giant project when we get to it. But I think that's all I have for now. I hear kids that are don't seem to be happy and are screaming my name. So I'm going to go because I think, um, guess what? My daughter is telling on my husband right now. That's what she just yelled at me. Mommy, daddy has not been a good listener. So I think I need to go <laughs> maybe do a little bit of problem solving. But um, all is well. My five-year-old's tattling on my husband. All good. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the button um, so you can get notified when I make new videos. Um, enter the giveaway if you want to win it. Please don't say giveaway. Please just say what you're supposed to say and I'll get you next time. Have a great day. Bye.